What is up guys, it is Eco's and I'm back here with another video and today I'm going to show you guys how to save and load which scene your player was last in. Now this is sort of a build off of the save player position tutorial that I did a while back because a lot of people in the uh, in the comment section love the tutorial but they were wanting to know how to uh, how to also load which scene their player was last in because you know if you have multiple scenes in your game you save the player position you don't save the scene they were last in that doesn't that doesn't really work well now you don't have to have the save player position system to in this to work but also but also if you want to combine them you can um in this specific uh project i don't have the save player position uh system in just because i just the other project i had for that tutorial got deleted because i completely reset my computer but i do have uh so i have you know new game quit load scene two load scene one just kind of very basic load game does not work right now but um i will show you guys uh some certain code things you guys will need to add if you have the save player position system in but um yeah all that aside before we get on to the uh, before we get on to the rest of the video I do want to apologize for not uploading for almost two months now. Um, the last couple of weeks have been pretty hectic, and I've just needed to get my head straight, and uh, I've been procrastinating a lot, but I'm back on track. I know I've said that a lot recently, um, but I'm, I'm back on track, and I'm starting development back on the Dark Realm, so you guys should see more devlogs, hopefully every weekend, if not every other weekend, but um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get on to the tutorial. So first, let's go ahead and let me just show you guys what I have uh, scripts wise right now. So I have my main menu script, obviously new game. Uh, see, uh, make sure you guys have using Unity Engine dot scene management up at the top here if you don't have that already. But uh, so yeah, I have my two uh, so new game and load game methods. In new game, you guys are probably gonna if you're using if you're using player press, you're probably gonna have like a bunch of uh, player press uh, delete keys. Um, but right now I don't have that in so I just have scene manager that load scene scene one and then my load game my load game method is completely empty but also I have this uh, so this is handling my different buttons so load scene one load scene two and quit game so yeah let, let's go ahead and uh, first get the player pref by the way that this is going uh, this is going to be functioning with player prefs if you have a different way of doing it go ahead but this is how uh, I sort of taught myself I know player preps again aren't the best way of doing things but for me it's the simplest way and uh, it's it's the best way for me anyways let's go so scene one let's go ahead and go into our uh, our script you guys probably have a pause menu script or whatever where you keep your uh, quick game method but um, for me, I just have this uh, little script here. So in your quit game method where, uh, you know, your your pause menu, whatever it is, you're going to go ahead and write. So after, so before you load the scene, so it's going to be on top of this line here. You are going to go ahead and write uh, scene manager. Again, make sure you have using unity engine dot scene management at the top. Scene manager dot load scene. Actually, no, not load scene. Sorry, this is the thing. Here we go. So yeah, delete that. Sorry about that. Let's go player prefs dot set int. You're gonna go and then you're gonna go and set your. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and set the name of your player pref. Let's go ahead and set this. To, uh, uh, saved. Why not? Um, you guys can write your own name in, the, for, in there for that. And then we're going to go scene manager, manager, manager dot get active scene uh, parentheses right there dot build index. Basically, this is setting an int, right? So this is player press dot sent in, and then you're setting the name of that player pref. And then um, it, it needs, since you're setting it, it, it needs a value, right? So we're grabbing the scene manager build index because the build index goes by numbers. Let me go and pull up Unity here. Go in here and then if you go file build settings, as you guys can see, make sure all of your scenes, by the way, that you 
if you're going to be using R in your Steam Manager here. But as you can see on the right here, it has it goes by number, so it goes zero, one, two, and then that's for me because I only have three scenes. But if you have more, so it's going to get you know zero, one, two, three, four, etc. So basically, uh, it's going to grab the uh, it's going to grab the number of your the current scene that is active. So say I'm in my scene two, so it's gonna go, it, it's gonna grab number two right there. And then, so, and then it, that's gonna be the number. It's kind of a crappy explanation, but that's the best I can do right there. Um, so yeah, so we have that, but obviously, you know, if we go and test the game, right? We go into our main menu, that, that's not gonna work, right? Because, you know, load game. We still have nothing in our load game. You guys, pro you guys probably still do, but it's, it's only. It's not gonna. We're not getting that player prep. We're not like grabbing it and loading it. Let's go and do that. So uh, let's go ahead and head into our main menu script here, or uh, wh whatever script you guys have loaded up. And then in the load game method, if you guys already have it loading a scene, um, but like one singular scene or one single scene, go ahead and delete that line. And then, uh, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to go. And then in your load game method here, this is where we do our thing. So we're going to go scene manager or scene dot load scene. And then instead of, put, instead of putting a specific scene, uh, we're gonna specific yeah there we go okay player press dot get in so now you're grabbing that in and you're loading it and then parentheses and then uh obviously you you want this in quotations this name right here you want it to be the same thing that you set right here so for me i put saved scene, and it is case sensitive so make sure you put it the exact same as you typed it so uh save scene. if you want you can even copy and paste it just to be safe so yeah that's it right there. So now we have it. So it's saving the value, right? It's saving the last scene whenever we hit quit. And now we're loading it. So let's go ahead and minimize. Go ahead and hit play. Let's say, you know, new game, whatever. I'm playing my game. I go to scene two. Now I hit quit. Then I hit load game. And now it loads scene two. Now it, let's go ahead and load scene one. Say I go back to scene one, quit, load game, scene one. Now this of course still works even if you quit, even if, if you like stop playing um, within the Unity editor or even if it's like if you built your game, it still works if you close the game of course and then load it back up. So you can see I just quit my game. I believe the last scene I was in was scene one. So let's go ahead and hit load game. Okay, so it was actually scene two. Let's go ahead and hit scene one, quit, and we're gonna go ahead and stop playing. Hit play, load game, scene one, right there. One more thing guys, before I end off the video, I just realized this while editing, I sort of forgot something. Um, you guys are gonna uh, wanna add this, if you, uh, just to make sure the load game button doesn't work, or load like a scene um, after you've like restarted the game or something. So let's go ahead and go back into our script. So if you guys have the save player position uh, system in, you guys are gonna already have um, this set. So let me go ahead and pull over this real quick. So let me pull over Dark Realm uh, thing. So this is my save player position uh, script. You guys, uh, I had you guys write this right here. Um, uh, player press dot set in save. So this is basically checking if there is anything saved. And if there isn't, then, you know, uh, certain things won't work. But, yeah. So, we basically need to set the same thing for... Uh, what's it called? We need to set the same thing for uh, loading the game. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and add a line into my quit game method. If you guys already have... If you guys have the save player, uh, player position system, you don't need to do this in your quit game. But if you don't then you should do this so uh let's go ahead and do player press dot set int or even if you want even if you have the save player position uh, script in and you want to have like um uh like both checking 
then you can so like say you know i have the uh, save pl player position load thing set in maybe s since i don't want this key to be the same as the other one which is called saved i could do like um load save and then you know that'll be the end of that uh we got to set a value for that so let's go ahead and do one so we'll have that so load saved and then let's go back to our main menu uh and then right here we want to instead of just having this we want to do so if uh player prefs dot get int go ahead so parentheses and then inside of those parentheses quotations and then so load saved and then equals equals one then we want to do this right here let's go ahead and delete them. copy and paste oh that there we go so basically this is checking so if there is you know a value saved of this then you can load then you can load the scene but so else if there isn't return so basically return will just make it do nothing um until there is a value in there go ahead and minimize it and then let's go ahead and hit play so actually before we do that let's go ahead and do edit and then i'm just gonna oh hello i'm gonna go ahead and do edit uh clear all player prefs yes i'm gonna go ahead go ahead and hit play and as you can see load game is not working but then if we do new game load scene 2 then we hit quit load game will work so you know load scene one da -da -da. same thing if you exit the game you know hit play again load the load game button will still work of course yeah that should mark the end of today's video guys so i hope you guys enjoyed if you're new to this channel please go and hit the subscribe button that would be really appreciated and i hope everyone's day has been going good if it hasn't and I hope this video helped. If it didn't, then I hope you guys can do something today that that'll make it real good. And then you you can reflect on today and say it was a good day. Yeah, I'm Z Codes. Thank, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next one. Peace.